Mr. Cicilline. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, thank you, Madam Secretary. It's a great pleasure to have you before our committee, and thank you for the spectacular work you are doing on behalf of our country. Um, I, I, uh, I, I think, like many members of Congress, are very concerned about the capability and the capacity and really the corruption. Uh, and those two things have been cited as really major obstacles to improving the rule of law in Afghanistan. And so my question really is, uh, how do we ensure that the billions of, of dollars of U.S. taxpayer funds that are being spent in this country are being used for the intended purpose and used effectively when corruption and a lack of governmental capacity and capability uh, remain two big obstacles. And I, um, I'm interested to know what your thoughts on how long it will take before these factors are no longer a major obstacle. And you know, just to use an example, in the State Department CBO justification, there's a call for 4.35. Uh, billion dollars in funding uh, for, uh, which includes a request of 1.1 billion for economic support funds. And when you take that investment in economic development in Afghanistan and compare it to our own, sort of the two largest loan programs administered by the United States Small Business Administration, uh, which total about $574 million, which is roughly a third of the amount we're sending to Afghanistan for economic support. It's a very hard thing for my constituents to understand in this difficult economy uh, that we're investing those kinds of resources to rebuild the economy in Afghanistan when we have such urgent needs here. And in the context of this lack of capacity and this pervasive corruption, it makes it even more difficult for people to understand. So I'd love to know how you think we are proceeding on those fronts and when we can expect the Afghan people to have the ability to, to do this work on their own so that we can direct those resources back here to our own country and to the urgent needs facing constituents in Rhode Island and in my district. Well, thank you very much, Congressman. And I certainly understand and uh, sympathize with the legitimate questions of your constituents and of Americans everywhere. Uh, I think that the uh, drawdown of troops in uh, Iraq represents a very large net savings uh, to the American taxpayers. The withdrawal on a very measured basis from Afghanistan similarly provides because uh, our civilian assistance is frankly such a small percentage of uh, the overall money that is spent, the vast majority of which comes from our DOD uh, security uh, forces. So I think that uh, we are aware of that. We think we are on the right track. Um, but specifically with respect to uh, capacity and corruption, uh, co corruption remains a fundamental challenge, not only in Afghanistan, but frankly around the world. Uh, and uh, I, I find it one of our biggest problems. It is a cancer in so many countries whose leaders care more about enriching themselves and their families and their associates as opposed to making investments that will provide a better future for their own people. And so the key is to build institutional capacity, create systems, and that's exactly what we are doing in Afghanistan. We're taking an integrated civilian military approach because, again, the largest sums of money that people have worried about feeding corruption have come from the enormous amount of money coming in associated with our military uh, activities. So both state and DOD, and of course USAID, are absolutely committed. Uh, we are promoting the enforcement of anti-corruption laws and regulations. We're doing ethics trainings. We're including civil servants and uh, judiciary personnel in that. We support the Major Crimes Task Force, which is uh, intended to prosecute uh, uh, cases in the Afghan justice system. Uh, the FBI, Department of Justice, and others are working with their counterpart uh, agencies. We continue to go after the, the poppy trade and the corruption that comes from uh, drug trafficking. Uh, we have improved uh, our accountability by increasing vetting for those people who have anything to do with uh, American funding. We have worked with our partners uh, to do the same. Uh, so we, we are, are very much committed to transparency and accountability, to the rule of law, to monitoring, and uh, all of the steps that we are taking toward those ends. Uh, but we know it remains a problem, as it does in so many of the other parts of the world where we do business. 